Hey, I want to take a little time today to address something that a lot of people have been asking me about, a lot of people talk about in our live chats, and that is the gun and ammo shortage. And when is it going to be over? Will it end with the election? Well, I don't think it's actually going to end with the election, but I think things are going to start getting better shortly after the election. But I don't think things are going to get back to normal until at least mid-2021 uh, because there are a lot of factors here. It isn't just panic buying because of the election that's causing the gun shortage and the ammo shortage right now. That's a factor. Usually that's the factor. Whenever we panic because of an election or a shifting political thing, uh, everybody runs out by stuff and things become scarce. But the supply lines and stuff are not affected, so the scarcity is there, but it's mainly caused by us going out and buying whatever we can get our hands on. Now, it's a little different because it's not just mass buying that's causing the issues, because if that was true, we'd be able to find ammo. Some of us would, at least. The ones of us got there first and bought all of it. But right now, it's hard to get anything. It's hard to buy a gun, even. Uh, and the reason for that, like I said, is multiple things. Uh, we have the misfortune now of having an election during a pandemic, and that's causing a lot of problems. So it's not just the purchasing that's up now. Supply is way down. Uh, if you pay attention to a lot of manufacturers, even the ones in America, well, they're having to run much smaller crews because they're having to maintain social distancing. They're having to worry about uh, transmission of virus and liability, etc. So they're not able to run their factories full speed like they used to. Also, shipping is delayed. Uh, for multiple factors, uh, the, the changes they were making with the post office, uh, because a lot of carriers are out with sick, blah, blah, blah. Just lots of reasons why shipping is down in our country. Uh, shipping uh, targets are off by a lot now. Usually they try to hit like 90% of all promised deadlines on shipping, and they're not even hitting like 60% in a lot of places now. So that's not good. Uh, when you add people buying more than usual and shipping being slower than regular, that adds up to a bad thing. But it's not just those two bad things that are the problem. There's also another problem. Uh, Europe. <laughs> a lot of guns come from Eastern Europe. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but a lot of them do. And right now over there, they're barely doing anything. A lot of their factories are closed down. Uh, and there's a lot more going to be closed here soon, I think. So they're not producing things. Now, there were a lot of stuff still ready to ship and a lot of stuff sitting ready to go already when they had to shut down. But even a lot of that stuff hasn't made it to here yet because they've shut down shipping from these countries. Because of the pandemic, they've like, we got way less people working in shipping and we're limiting it to, uh, you know, top priority things, medical supplies, things like that. So things like guns are just sitting on docks in boxes and won't go out because one, there's no one to process them, and two, uh, they're not listed as priority. So they're not going over right now. So when you take the fact that buying is up, shipping is slowed, supply is reduced, and when it comes to overseas guns, supply is almost at a standstill. I mean, it's still trickling in, but like I say, it's a trickle of what it normally is. When you add all those things together, that's what's equal to the place right now, the, the situation we're in right now, where a lot of gun shops don't have any guns in them or don't have any ammo. You can't order it offline. Uh, and a lot of profiteers have started taking uh, uh, notice of that and creating fake websites where you can buy guns and ammo, but then you don't get any guns and ammo. You just get taken for your money. So right now we're in the perfect storm of bad things for buying guns and ammo. And that's not going to fade away overnight. I'm sorry to tell people. Now, once the panic buying dies down after the election or speeds up, it depends on how things go, uh, once that either just starts to trickle down or explodes and then fades after the election, by middle next year, that should have evened out. So hopefully by that same time, maybe shipping will have come back to standard. And hopefully manufacturing will start being on the rise and we can slowly start seeing things get back to normal. But it ain't going to happen real soon and it ain't going to happen overnight. Like I said, we're going to have to deal with the virus. If we got a, uh, a vaccine for coronavirus, that would be a big step towards getting guns back in shops, ammos back in shops. That sounds silly saying that a lot of our gun purchases and ammo purchases are uh, dependent on a vaccine, but that's just the way it is right now. Uh, because the virus is slowing us down. If it got to where people can go back to work because now there's a vaccine or now there's a successful treatment or blah, 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 uh, that would make a big difference. 
Well, then they could start opening back up shipping. Guns from overseas could start coming. The factories in this country could start producing things back at a normal rate, maybe even a little bit higher rate to catch up with backlog and back demand. Same thing with ammo. They could start producing at a faster rate, start getting things back up to normal. Now, keep in mind, they're not going to increase production too much. Because to increase production a lot, you got to hire new people, you got to make new machines. And then once sales go back down to normal, that's a wasted investment. So that's not going to happen. So don't expect to see a whole lot of increase in production. But once production gets back to normal, once shipping becomes stable, once imports start happening again, once people go back to normal buying habits, which will be lower than normal. Uh, remember the Trump slump when sales went down real low. It'll be like that again for a while because all those people that bought during the panic, event, you know, they'll rush out and buy stuff as soon as it becomes available, but that'll fade off and sales will go down. Uh, and while sales are going down, supply will start coming up. Hopefully it'll meet, meet somewhere in the middle and we'll have a normal market again. Uh, so like I said, uh, there's just a lot of things going wrong right now. I know you can't just fault panic buying because like I say, it's panic buying, it's shipping, it's production, it's ship uh, supply. It's just all kinds of different things. It's the virus even. So until mid 2020-21, I'm not seeing much leveling out. It's going to be not good until then. Uh, then if things line up, if our ducks line up in a row perfectly, I think then it'll start to level out. Uh, if it doesn't, if we still don't have a vaccine come May of next year, then we might not see uh, an increase in production. We may not see an increase in availability. So it might stay bad till the end of the year, maybe even beyond. So that's why I'm telling people now, don't contribute. If you don't have to buy a gun right now, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't buy one uh, aftermarket. A lot of people think, well, I'm still helping the gun industry buy an aftermarket. Not really. You're just putting extra profit in people's pockets who are taking advantage of the situation. Uh, don't feel like you have to go out and buy guns secondary market to support the gun industry or the Second Amendment community because you're not doing that. Uh, let the manufacturers catch back up with production and then buy from the manufacturers if you're worried about the stability of companies. Buy them new. Uh, I mean, buy secondary market if you want to. A lot of people like to buy that way. But right now, if I didn't have to buy a gun, I definitely wouldn't buy one on the secondary market because they're really overinflated price-wise. Same thing with ammo. The prices are really high. So if you can't get reasonably priced ammo right now, stop shooting for a while. That's what I've done. I've limited my shooting greatly. I only shoot what I can find ammo new. I don't break into my stocks of ammo here. If I find a box of something, I'll shoot that box this weekend or this week. But otherwise, I'm not shooting. So if everyone would just do a little bit of their part, don't go out and uh, 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 buy guns that you don't need because someone else might need that gun right now. Uh, and I know that sounds weird and that sounds kind of counterintuitive to being strong 2A. But like if there's a Glock 19 sitting in a shelf, if you've already got six of them and you're like, well, I'm going to buy one more because it's there. Don't do that right now. Because someone else right after you might come in a, a, a little old lady who doesn't have any gun and needs something to defend her home. And right now there's more people buying than there is guns to be sold. So if you don't need one, leave those guns for people who need them. If you don't need more ammo, leave that ammo for people who need it. If you're like me, if you're well stocked on guns and ammo, suffer a little while. Just bite the, the bullet a little bit. You know, uh, don't shoot as much. Don't go about and buy new guns, etc. Because, you know, it really will help with the comeback. So uh, right now, like I say, just prudent business choice. Don't waste money on overpriced secondary market guns, overpriced ammo. Uh, if you can't find ammo at its regular price, leave things that are on the shelves for people who need it if you don't need it. That's just something we can do for each other as gun owners. But as far as the shortage, like I said, I don't see it getting better anytime real soon. And when it does start getting better, it's going to take a little while. Hey, this is the Yankee Marshall just reminding everyone out there that if you disagree with anything I say in any one of my videos, be it something political or tactical, I am going to give you the opportunity to come talk to me face to face instead of just having to put stuff in comment sections where someone might not even read them. You can come in one of my live chats and tell me off in person. You just have to send an email to shootingleftofcenter at gmail.com and in the subject line of that video put slap the yank and then I will get back with you and set up a time where you can come in one of the live chats and tell me off face to face.